बिसमीम रबी यसर वला तो असर व तमिन बिल है रब असल होप यू आर ऑल गुड दिस इज़ दी मैथमेटिक्स बुक डी थ्री एंड दिस इज़ अपडेटेड ए सेवन्थ एडिशन एंड टुडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर एट एंड नाइन लेट स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर एट दी रिजल्ट फॉर एन आई क्यू टेकन बाय द एट स्टूडेंट फ्राम क्लास ए एंड क्लास बी आर शोन बिलो The maximum score for the quiz is twenty-five. And uh, these are the quiz which are taken by the student. These are the marks of the student. And uh, now we have to find the calculate the mean and standard deviation for class A and class B. Show your working clearly. We have to find the standard deviation for this class and this class separately. and in the second part we have to compare and comment briefly on the result of class a and b now in the end we have to compare and com comment it what we observe in the data now students uh, for class a first we have to write our data and um, this is x is 4 6 6 7 8 Ten, eleven, and twelve. These are the marks. Now we have to take the square of it. Sixteen, thirty-six, thirty-six, forty-nine, sixty-four, hundred, one twenty-one, and one forty-four. Now we have to take the sum of these values. We get four plus four, six plus six plus seven. Plus eight plus ten plus eleven plus twelve, we get sixty-four. Now we have to add these value. Sixteen plus thirty-six plus thirty-six, forty-nine, sixty-four, hundred, one two one, and one forty-four, and we get the five sixty-six. Now we have to put the value in the standard deviation and the mean. first we have to find the mean then we have to put the values in the standard deviation you know that the formula of the mean is this is the formula of the mean we have to put that value 64 this is the sum of the x and this is the number of the values how And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this one is eight. Now, by dividing it, we get the eight. And uh, the formula of standard deviation is now this is x square we have to put the values this one this is the sum of the x square this is 566 over 8 and minus 8 square and uh, by dividing it 566 divided by 8 we get 70.75 minus 64 Minus sixty four, we get six point seven five. By taking under root answer, we get two point five nine. We have to write it by round off, and the value becomes two point six zero. And this is a two three significant figure. and now students this is a standard deviation and mean for the class a now we have to find the standard deviation mean mean for the class b now for class b the value of x is 0 1 1 1 and 2 3 14 17 and 25 now we have to take the square of it 0 1 One four and uh, nine, one ninety six, two eighty nine and six twenty five. 
now we by adding this value we get the 63 and by adding this value we get the 1125 and this is the mean and the standard deviation we have the form for the ungrouped data this is the ungrouped data that's why we have to write the values fx and x the x square if this is a group data then there is fx you know that and the fx square and the formula of mean is sum of x over n n is a total number of values sum of x is 63 over 8 we get 63 divided by 8 we get 7.875 and uh, the formula for standard deviation and And this is the 1125 n is 8 and uh, the x square is 7 point mean 7.875 square now we have to solve it the square of 7 7 62.5 0 62.01 and 1125 divided by 8 we get 140.625 and we have to subtract it 62.01 we get the 78.615 we have to take the under root of it under root answer 78.615 and we get the 8.87 i am writing it by round off to that three significant figure and now students this question is solved and then now part number one is solved in part number one we have to find the mean and standard deviation but in part number two we have to compare what we have to find in these values now students you can see that this is the mean for class a and this is the mean for class b the mean is very close to each other they are this is the approximately the same but uh, you can say this is the standard deviation of class a and this is the standard deviation of class 2 there is a difference in it and standard deviation uh, indicates that the difference indicate that there is a grade spread in these scores the mean values is same but there is a grade spread in these scores that the one is one get the zero and one get the 25 that is a grade spread that's why the standard deviation is greater in class b than in class a the class a has approximately a values closer to one another and that's why the standard deviation is low so we can write these these things in part number we have to write the mean score scores of class a and class b are approximately the same which means if the mean is approximately the same it means that the students perform the which means the students did not perform better or worse than the students from the other class the overall performance is the same 
However, the score of class B have a higher standard deviation than class A and uh, it indicates that there is a greater spread in the score of class B. which indicates that the there is a greater spread in the score of class B and now students uh, this we have to write briefly what we observe in our uh, calculations and now students the question number eight is solved <coughs> now students question number nine Seema scored x marks in mathematics quiz and her front scores were 15 16 6 and 10 and 4 the mean marks of this student is 10 in this uh, question the mean is given to us and we have to find the ma marks of the Seema which is x and uh, in part number one we have to find the value of x marks of SEMA find the standard deviation of the marks of the six student we have to find the standard deviation and the mean is given to us in this question that's why there is no need to we have to find the mean and in third part how did SEMA perform for the quiz relative to her friends we have to write what he got the marks is better or not that that we have to write the comparison with his friend in this question now students let's start now students in part number one we have to find the marks of SEMA and the mean marks are given to us which is 10 and uh, the mean marks is a uh, mean is equal to you know that the formula of the mean is sum of value over total number of values the total number of values are 6 and mean is given to us this is mean and total number of values 6 and we have to write it like that x plus 5 plus 16 plus 6 plus 10 plus 4 these are the marks of his friend and this is the marks of the sigma which is x which we have to find it now we have to cross multiply it and we have to add this value we get x plus 41 is equal to 60 41 goes that side 60 minus 41 and we get the x is equal to 19 and the answer of x is 19 now we have to write the values there the first one is 4 5 6 10 16 in part number two we have to find the standard deviation that's why we have to write these values and uh, now the fourth we have to take the square of it this is 16 5 25 36 100 256 and the square of 19 is 361 by adding these values we get the 60 and by adding these value we get the 794 you can do it on the calculator very easily now we have to find the standard deviation the formula of standard deviation is sum of x square over n and mean square the sum of x square is 794 and n is uh, 6 and x square the mean value is 10 which is given in the question now we have to solve it 794 divided by 6 we get the 132.2.3 minus 100 under root minus 100 
we get the thirty two point three four under root by taking the under root of it we get the five point six nine five point six nine and now students this is the answer of part number two in part number two we have to find the standard deviation now in part number three we have to write what uh, we have to write the performance of the SEMA and you can observe that the marks of the SEMA are 19 and it shows uh, and the mean marks are 10 and it shows that the SEMA performed very well in the quiz so we write it like that SEMA had the highest marks of 19 and performed better than her friends and its score was almost twice that of the mean marks mean scopes yes students this is our analysis about sigma marks which is required in part number three and now students the question number two and now students the question number nine is solved I hope you understand these questions very well. Thank you very much students for watching my videos. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.